Hey guys, so for my hairstyle today I decided to do a little plait at the front so I just separated off a bit of hair at the front of my head and gave myself a big side parting and then I just took the Batiste texturizing spray and sprayed that in the sections that I'd sectioned off. This just gave it a bit more volume and made it a lot easier to plait it because there was a bit of texture in my hair because I have super duper soft hair so for me to do anything with it there needs to be a little bit of texture in it and that is what this spray does. So I then started to plait my hair just by taking three sections and I braided them underneath each other so that the plait stuck out of my head rather than being underneath. I kept adding little bits of hair along the way and I'll leave a little tutorial of how to do this below just in case you don't know how to do it but it's super duper easy and I did this hairstyle without a mirror. I just kept plaiting that all the way down and then tied it with a clear elastic but I'm going to come to this later because that is not the finished look but for now I just took my hair down and I sprayed some of the Batiste heat and shine spray in it before straightening. This spray makes my hair so, so, so soft. Honestly, I would recommend trying this if your hair feels quite heat damaged because it feels so smooth. the front of my hair out so I just took the clear elastic out and got a little bit of hair from behind my ear and then I just tucked the plait behind my ear and tied it to that so that I didn't have to use any bobby pins or anything to hold it into place it was all just done with this little elastic I then sprayed some texturizing spray in the hair that was left down just to give it a lot of volume and that was the finished hair look I then went to a little cafe in Covent Garden called Timber Yard with my friend Deepa and we had these crowdos which I've never heard of before but they're basically a mix between donuts and croissants and they were so 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 nice I'd really recommend the chocolate one I also had a pot of tea, how very British. <laughs> we then walked through Leicester Square, which is one of my favorite places in London, and we saw a man doing these bubbles and they were huge. On to the National Art Gallery. We had a little look around there because I'd never been in there before, so I just wanted to have a little peek and see everything that was inside. And there were lots of gorgeous paintings, and it was just really pretty. We then just went outside and sat down for a little bit and had a bit of a social media break. I will leave my Twitter and Instagram on screen if you'd like to follow me. But after running around London all day, I decided to go ahead and put my hair up because I knew we were going to go on some Boris bikes. So I just took the plait out that was in my hair from this morning and then took the texturizing spray again and just sprayed that all into the roots of my hair before I tied it into a high ponytail. Now I absolutely love this look. I think it's so cute and there's something a little bit edgy about it as well. I got my elastic band stuck around the lid of the Batiste spray so my face was a picture and a half. But anyways back to my hair I took the Batiste hairspray which is my new favorite hairspray it's super good at holding styles into place and I just sprayed that on the roots of my hair and into the ponytail bit and then I was ready to conquer the world. On my way to finding a taxi, I found a weird silver man and he was floating and he had a big nose like Pinocchio and it kind of freaked me out a little bit, but we're now best friends. D 
Keeper caught me taking selfies in the taxi. Does anybody else do this? Because I'm always either taking selfies or Snapchatting and I have absolutely zero shame about that. But we made it to Hyde Park and I got a Boris bike. was about it for my day really. I just had a nice chill in the park and ate some salad and chased some squirrels round which were really really cute but also kind of scary. But if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye!